high moments for a Cal State Los Angeles professor and co-founder of Black Lives Matter LA. Police officers surrounded her home with their guns drawn. LAPD says that a, a fake hostage call is what brought officers to her door. But new at 6, NBC Force Jonathan Gonzalez spoke with one LA City Councilman who's now calling for an independent investigation. Um, I had a little bit of a rough morning, so forgive us for our late start. Cal State LA professor Melina Abdullah spoke on campus this morning at a planned news conference just hours after armed LAPD officers surrounded her home, saying they received a call that people were being held hostage inside. We don't even believe that they got that call. There's a helicopter above. They're pointing guns at our house. You can hear Abdullah's voice on this Instagram video, streaming the entire incident live around 9 a.m. Nobody's knocked at the door, but apparently they've made announcements for people to come out with the, our hands up. My children are in the house. Abdullah, a Black Lives Matter co-founder, was home with a bodyguard, her children sheltering in a bedroom, concerned when Abdullah walked out her front door. Are you looking for me? It's only my phone in my hand. You can hear officers tell Melina they were responding to a call of a hostage situation reported at her address, a call police now say was a hoax. I am here to take safe, safety and make sure no one gets hurt. Yeah, we don't think that you make us safer. You just scare us to death. The LAPD says they believe the call was possible swatting, a fake emergency call aimed at getting a police response. It was so disruptive that neighbors came out to see what was going on, and my guess was to make sure that they were at Dr. Abdullah's side. Abdullah believes the ordeal was about police intimidation in response to the Black Lives Matter movement. LA Councilman Herb Wesson, who lives one block from Abdullah, is calling for a further investigation. But swatting, there's no place for it. Somebody could be injured, somebody could lose their life. We want to find out who did this, and we want them punished. Jonathan Gonzalez, NBC4 News.